Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you what I've been making this last week. Yeah, it took me about a week because I wasn't very motivated. More on that later. Anyway, let's make a dress, vintage style. So uh, here's where the journey began. Um, this is when I found the um, fabric back uh, about a year ago during the pandemic and I decided to uh, make the dress on the left but it was still pretty cold when I started this dress. Here's how much snow we got with the last storm but I was determined to make this spring dress. I cut this fabric out a while back and then had to store it for a time. So I first had to start by ironing it all nice and flat. My uh, sewing situation has recently changed, which is one of the reasons why I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, this is how I used to do it. Um, my husband would bring up a table and I would cut out several patterns at once. But most of the time, this is how I did it. Uh, what other YouTubers have affectionately called the floor troll. And let me tell you, this does a number on your back and knees. However, recently, the second bedroom in our two bedroom apartment became available. So for the first time ever, I have a sewing studio. Something I plan to post a video about later. I'm really rather excited about having a sewing studio for the first time in my life. Um, and I'm going to have a lot of fun decorating it, but as I was moving things upstairs for it, I was realizing how much my tastes have changed because pretty much my sewing studio has had to be stored in boxes and drawers and etc. downstairs um, in our storage unit. I've accumulated things over the years um, and uh, some things were specifically for that someday when I'd have a sewing studio but right now it's back to the dress and as soon as I transferred some markings um, I got started on the darts and darts really aren't all that difficult you just have to know how to sew them fortunately I was uh, instructed by an older lady who uh, knew her knew her stuff. I don't backstitch at the points and I press very carefully. So much of making your sewing look professional and nice is pressing as you go. I had finished preparing this piece except that I forgot to do the stay stitching. I always forget that step. But it is an important step and you don't want to skip it. It helps your neckline as you're sewing it um, lay right and correctly. Now it was finally prepared. I do not know why I always forget that step and then have to stop what I'm doing and finish it. And in case you didn't catch the part where I uh, did the darts on the front, um, here's the back pieces or at least one of them. And I just kind of run it off the edge of the fabric at the point. Sewing patterns don't always mention every step, like uh, seam finishes and, and things. But this one, th it usually tells you when to interface something. So I went ahead and put some interfacing where the buttonholes would be put. Buttonhole plackets really need that extra little bit of stabilization when you go to sew them. While I was glad to finally be getting this, this dress done, I was kind of lamenting the fact, and, and for me this is, this is different because I usually like rain and snow, but I was lamenting the fact that I couldn't work on the project that I really wanted to. The bodice armor for the fantasy dress I made that I featured in my last video. Um, unfortunately, working with the materials that I'd be working with, they need adequate ventilation. 
which for me means working on them outside. And um, I kind of like warm and dry weather for that. Something it so was not right now. Mainly, I was just trying to keep me and my little dog warm. About two months ago, I had to make um, a heated rice pack thingy um, for my little dog. Um, and he, he loves it. He's uh, very attached to it. And he's come to expect that that's what comes from the microwave when it beeps, um, that it's done microwaving. I posted a short um, make with me video about the process. So if you want to see more puppy cuteness, then definitely um, go ahead and check that out. I'll be posting a link down in the description. After matching the, the seams, um, I gathered up the skirt to the bodice. And in order for me to finish this project, I had to keep myself in the mood. Um, so I listened to Artie Shaw. I love big band, but I also love a, a lot of other kinds of music. But I knew that if I listened to anything else besides vintage style music, that I'd get distracted and want to start another project. Then this dress would go into a pile with all my other unfinished projects. I've been very tempted to get a certain sign for my sewing room that says, I'm working on my PhD. Projects half done. And it is so the truth. I get so distracted and want to do something else. But one of the reasons why I started this channel was to give me some accountability so that I would get my projects finished. One of the things that this pattern called for, but, and I started to do it, I started to put it in, but here I am taking it out again, is a row of snaps for the left side um, to help you get the dress on. There was a shortage on so many things, so maybe zippers too were scarce back in the 1940s. So I don't know if this is a vintage tip or not. Vintage or no, it wasn't for me. But I find side snaps and trying to put the placket in makes the dress too bulky, so I put in a zipper. Is it time for food? After feeding my puppy, I got back to work on the dress. Um, I had to transfer some markings and prepare the sleeves and the bottom ruffle for um, application to the dress. I had a little bit of energy left, but I tend to make mistakes when I work when I'm tired, so I was about to call it a day. They say to count your blessings, and one of the things I'm thankful for is that my husband is so supportive of my channel now. I'm unable to work outside of the home due to my disability. So one of my ultimate goals with my channel is to get monetized. But I also wanted to do something that I loved for a living. So I'm thankful to all of you, my subscribers and viewers, who keep me encouraged enough to keep making videos. I found some vintage buttons in my stash that were the right size, so break time's over. Break time's over. Do you like your sunshine? Because it's okay. We finally had a break in the storm. Um, it was clear enough for me to film outside. Our neighbor's tree is proof that spring has sprung in Northern California, despite there not being snow on the dogwood yet. So without further ado, Wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage fling But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score 
This, this video needed some spring color, so daffodils, which I, I plucked off the side of the road because I wasn't going to pay what my local um, grocery store charges for a bouquet of flowers. Not that I was trying to mislead you guys. Um, it is spring here. It's just I didn't want to go very far to film this reveal because, you know, I'm kind of uh, <sighs> homebody. Brisk. Very brisk. But it wasn't raining today or snowing, so that's good. Uh, for filming, that's good. For sitting inside, cuddling with my chihuahua, reading and drinking hot chocolate. Rain and snow is better. Yeah. So. <sighs> Things I uh, learned from, well, <laughs> that were confirmed, um, from making this dress. Um, because I, I probably won't make this particular pattern again, um, very unlikely, um, because it's a reproduction vintage pattern. So vintage kind of is very flexible. Um, it, I knew this kind of going in, uh, the pattern pieces, there wasn't enough flare in the skirt shape pattern piece and and uh, the ruffle wasn't quite right and the the um, darts the darts weren't yeah anyway but anyway um it's vintage enough and I can style it vintage and um, and it's a really cute dress and and uh, uh, Later this summer, I might do a little short cosplay video as I um, make another apron for it. Spoilers. Um, anyway, but uh, thanks for watching till the end. A big shout out to my mom who lives out of state. Hi, mom. And bye now. Hi. Thanks for watching till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. It really helps me out and teaches the algorithm what you like to watch. Yeah, that's enough of that spiel. A big shout out to my mom out of state. Um, and bye now. Freezing. Thanks for watching till the end. And if you like this sort of content, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and teaches the algorithm what you like to watch. Um, and, and what am I forgetting? Um, oh, cookies.